We had a, a great season last year, really memorable. We won the NESCAC championship for the second time in three years. Um, we advanced to the NCAA tournament and had a, a fairly deep run. Winning NESCAC championship at home was probably a highlight of my Amherst career. It was amazing. Um, we had a great run in the NCAA. We made it to Sweet 16. I mean, you can't really pick a better way to end the season than winning for your last game on your home field. So last season went really well, and I think it sets us up great for this year. We didn't graduate too many people, so we had a really young team to begin with. So a lot of that talent that led to such a successful season last year will be returning. So I'm very optimistic. Last season laid a great framework for us, and I think that we have nothing more but to build from that. And so um, I think this is a great group. We have a lot of returners, a lot of key personnel coming back, and so I think that we will be easily in, able to integrate the first years that are joining us this year and be able to only get better and add to what we currently have in terms of talent, in terms of leadership. We have really strong momentum after kind of a successful season, but we're also kind of know we have more in us to go further. So I just think continuing to build that team chemistry, we have um, players kind of stepping into new leadership roles, um, which is very exciting. Um, and I think we're very strong across all class years, all different positions. We strive to be, in soccer, um, a possession-based team. So we're not necessarily the biggest, the fastest, the most physical, um, but we're gonna keep the ball and we're gonna make smart decisions and we're gonna use our like mental and technical abilities to beat the other team that way. You're gonna see a lot of grit out on the field. You'll see an incredibly high level um, in terms of intensity and of play. I think you're gonna see a team that is really focused on the basics, focused on the little things. Um, you know, we've been working hard to establish a really strong foundation so that we can be effective individual and collective defenders. A team that is really bought in and everyone embraces their own and each other's role. A team that's really supportive of each other. Um, both on and off the field. We really try to emphasize that there's no one role that's more important than another and that it takes all 28 of us on this team to bring us where we need to be. Um, so getting everyone to buy into that culture and realize that their role is important to the collective team's success is something we really try to emphasize. We really do believe that how you are off the field really translates to how you are on the field. So making sure you have a strong team culture coming in will really help. You'll see it in the games. We have sort of process goals and result goals, and we have really ambitious result goals, um, but we're really, right now, we're really just focused on um, kind of bringing everyone together, learning about each other as people and players. Um, we've been doing a lot of team building to kind of create chemistry among both the returning players and the first years. And we're really just focused on getting ready for our first game against Leslie on September 6th. We play for each other. We take joy in what we're doing and really believe in what we're doing for each other. Come on, two, three. Yeah,